Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. It's a preppy streetwear brand, and I hope you guys like the new styles. Okay, today's episode, we're just diving into this conversation about people who hate their own race, maybe because of past history, you know, different things in their culture that other people find a little awkward or they feel a little awkward about themselves. So let's just jump right into this conversation. You guys let me know down below. I know you guys are going to leave your comments and uh, we're just going to continue this conversation on my morning shows. If you guys want to talk to me live Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Love you guys. Let's get into it. Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Some black lady made a post that says, white people, how does it feel to be white? Okay, well, this is how it feels to be white. Imagine being a race that you're not allowed to be proud of. If I put up that I'm proud to be white, people would comment that I'm the most racist person in the world. All right, imagine being blamed for something that you were never a part of, okay? So also, on top of that, imagine that you can't get a job now because of the color of your skin. Like literally, they tell you that we, we are not hiring any white people right now. We need more people of ethnicity here. Huh, imagine being straight and white and Christian. You're like the triple threat of hatred. Imagine being told that you have an ideology that you don't have. Like, just because you're white, you're racist. So that's what it's like to be white. You know what's crazy? Growing up, I wanted to be white. <laughs> I literally prayed to God to make me white and to have white people hair. And now here I am trying to get as dark as I possibly can. Like, come on. SPF zero because who's burning? Not I, sir, not I. As a kid, I hated being Asian because all the schools I went to were predominantly not Asian. And for some reason, kids are very anti-Asian. Or maybe just the kids I grew up with. I would go to school and be met with one of these. Who made up this bullshit? Why and how was this ever the Chinese middle finger? I'd always be met with the classic, oh, Eric, do you eat dogs? Do you eat cats? Yeah, maybe your mom's later. They would always do one of these at me. That's just not even clever, man. Any other Asian kid in the vicinity? Are you brothers? Are you sisters? No, I'm way more handsome than him. What the fuck? Kids would abuse that Ching Chong Ling Long shit. And another thing I just want to say, don't let your stereotypes define you. And I don't get it because it sounded nothing like Chinese. If you're going to be racist, like make it funny at least, right? My neighbors were also around the same age as me. So they came over to my house one time and they smelled the inside and they're like, your house is stinky. And since then, I've always had a fear of people coming to my house because apparently Chinese people stink. But not gonna lie, I mean, sometimes I kind of set myself up for the bullying. I had a dumbass haircut, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! And look at those glasses. They are Bakugan sunglasses. Yeah, I deserve that one. Moral of the story, Kung Fu, Jackie Chan, wonton noodle soup, and fried rice. Yeah. I'm just tired of black people, dog, in general. All y'all kids slow, your parents slow, your elders are slow. I mean, it's just being passed down from generation to generation. Like, it's not just the young kids who are on the internet showing their behinds off dancing. It's the old, it's their parents doing the same exact thing. That's where they got it from. It's crazy, man. Like, y'all ain't tired of on there gossiping every day. Like, y'all ain't tired of doing the same exact thing every single day. That's crazy, man. Like, it's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed to be black. I'm serious, man. When these folks be seeing y'all out in the public and the way that y'all be acting is embarrassing, man. Y'all are thieves. Like, it's crazy. Not all black people, but the majority is speaking up for us, man. And I'm tired of it. This is why I don't like being Indian. Reason number one, the hair. I can shave my mustache and it will come back the next day. And let me tell you something. When I was about 15, I used to get bullied for my eyebrows and just my facial hair. And uh, I went to go and get my uh, eyebrows threaded. You know, to end the bullying. The lady was like, oh, very much hair, very much hair. Uh, full face thread. I didn't know what she was talking about. I said, yeah, whatever you recommend. 
I did not know what I had just agreed to. I was so young and naive. This woman fully threaded, right, thread my mustache, my chin hair, my sideburns were gone, my monobrow was gone, my eyebrows were gone. My face was stinging like a bitch. <laughs> I looked good though, so it was okay. But did it matter? No, because guess what? It all grew back within like a week. A week! about how does it feel to be a white person or specifically a white person in America. I couldn't stitch the original video. I think you have turned stitches off and I totally get it, especially after watching this video where you say that your family is being attacked, you're being attacked, and I am so sorry about that. But I, I wanted to give my response to this because ever since I saw your original post about asking white people what it's like to be white in America, I've thought about it a lot. And I, like, I debated on whether or not I should even say anything. But after seeing the video where you say you're being attacked, I, I, I feel like I need to speak up a little bit because I'm so sorry. And I can only give you my perspective because there's a wide spectrum of like love and hate in this country and, and from every race. And so I can only give you what my perspective is on being white in America. And I can tell you this, I, I, my heart is filled with so much love and respect uh, toward other races, other cultures. And I also completely understand why there's a divide because of the history of hatred from white people in this country and the current hatred from certain white people in this country. And it's hard to be a white person and want to be like, no, 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 not all white people, not all white people. Um, Cause even though it isn't all white people, it's enough. It's enough white people that are serving so much hatred and racism and bigotry and ugliness that I understand, I, I, I get why there's the divide. So I, from my, I, I made a joke the other day with my friend. I was just like, it's like, I want to be invited to the cookout. I, I feel like that's a, an honor. I want to be invited to the cookout. And I also totally understand not ever being invited to the cookout because of the color of my skin. And I understand that there's been so much hatred and color of my skin. And so I understand that white privilege. I, I, I get it and I don't like it. I didn't ask to be born white. I didn't, I don't want the divide, but I understand it. And so I, I, I guess that's what it's like. Know that there's people like me that are filled with love and respect and I see the amazing things that so many uh, different cultures do. I watch, I watch hair videos. Like just, I, I love black hair. I love it so much. And I will watch those videos just in awe at the talent and the beauty and just something I could never even come close to. And I watch uh, Hispanic culture videos and I, I just love all of these different cultures and all of these different people. I was recently at a restaurant with my kids and uh, this beautiful black family uh, came in uh, in uh, like Hindu, uh, it, it was the most gorgeous religious dress. They looked like royalty. And my family, we were, we were there looking like this and this family walked in and all of my kids, I have four kids, they all looked up and were like, oh, don't they look amazing? And they had two little girls that were dressed, just dressed to the nines. And my 10 year old asked me, she's like, do you think those are actually real princesses and I would have given anything to walk up to this family to this black amazing family and just tell them you look amazing you look beautiful and I see you but I know that they don't want somebody my color 
bugging them while they're out. And I and so I, I didn't. I didn't. Um, and uh, a, a couple of months ago, I was at the McDonald's play place with my two youngest, and I saw a, an interracial gay couple. And they were the two cutest dads, and they had two beautiful kids. And my heart ached to like walk up to them and just be like, hey, I see you, and I accept you, and I love you, and you're wonderful. But again, I, I don't, I'm, I'm a straight white woman in America, <laughs> so I don't think I want to be heard from. So that, that's all. I just, just know that there's people who love you, respect you, we see you, we, we want to be your friend. And that's kind of where we're stuck. But uh, hopefully all of this was, was okay. I, I, I don't ever want to offend with anything that I'm saying. Um, but if I did, please teach me. Please teach me. I feel like growing up mixed race is an extreme sport. Like my, my entire life, I've just been like fighting for my life, trying to validate myself because I'm always having people invalidate me because of what I look like. And it's just so tiring, so tiring. Because when you're mixed, it's like, you're not, you're not black enough for the black people. You're not white enough for the white people. So it's like, damn, where the fuck do I belong? <laughs> and that shit is hard, man. That shit is so fucking hard because sometimes it'd be your own people saying, oh, you're not this, you're not that. Like, okay, what am I then? I'm just in the middle. But I'm not in the middle. I'm more black than I am white. But people, people are constantly calling me white. Why am I white? Can someone explain that to me, please? <laughs> I don't have a white parent. And that's another thing people love to assume just because I'm mixed. I don't have a white parent. Fuck. Okay, one thing that I hate about being mixed is that when people look at me, they always say, like, they always ask, like, what I am like my ethnicity and then they say everything that i'm not but when you tell them what you are they go oh i can see it can you because you did it because <laughs> you did it all i could say is you can use the same being black for beautiful and another thing is god put us all on this earth for a reason you just got to go out there and find your reason and don't take on your traditional past of whatever your tradition is and the bad things of your culture and take it into your life. Upgrade yourself by making your culture better and being a better version of your culture. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.